the battle to save a moose. It's a story that might go unnoticed, except this battle to save this moose, his name is Pete, has become something of a cause celebre in Vermont. So ABC's John Berman went up north to check it out. The Northeast Kingdom of Vermont has a simple beauty, red barns, green hills, golden leaves. But in this simple place, a simple, quiet creature is in the middle of a complicated fight. They don't need to kill Pete. Leave Pete alone. He ain't hurting anybody. Pete is a moose. David Lawrence gave him that name when he began caring for him when he was weeks old last spring. He had been attacked by dogs, separated from his mother. Dave, a longtime farmer, nursed him back to health. He doesn't know if I'm a moose or if he's a person. Pete loves me and I love Pete. I mean, that's all I can say. I don't a unique relationship that is, by definition, illegal. It's illegal to possess wildlife in the state of Vermont. But that is just the beginning. You see, Dave is raising Pete on a hunting reserve, a fenced-in area where people pay to shoot at herds of elk. Officials fear that confined herds like these are a breeding ground for chronic wasting disease that can wipe out wildlife. And they worry Pete, raised inside, go, could be a carrier. If that animal jeopardizes the long-term health and welfare of the entire population, you know, you can see that we have concern and that we feel that we need to deal with it. The state says Pete can't stay on the farm and he can't go into the wild. They're looking for a zoo or a sanctuary to take him in, but so far, none will. If no solution is reached by January, he could be killed. And now the battle over Pete has been joined by protesters and editorials on both sides. The case may be headed to court. Pete needs me and I need Pete. And uh, that's life. It may take a judge to decide if those needs are bigger than the states. John Berman, ABC News, Irisburg, Vermont.